Welcome back to Powerful Expansion 777, y'all. This is Vanessa, the creator of Powerful Expansion 777, aka Miss Venus Vesta. In today's reading, we're going to be looking at what's next, what's new coming up in love for you. What is this new moon in Cancer bringing towards you in matters of love? So this could be for my singles, or this could also be for those of you who are already in relationships. We just going to see what's coming next in love, y'all. I know that's what y'all came here for, right? Um, if this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm going to talk about my products really quick before we get into this reading, y'all. So we currently have the Lover's Candle, um, Powerful Expansion 777, Enchanting Lover's Candle available right now in the Etsy shop. It's meant to bring in love. All right. It's made by me, 100% soy wax. Um, and it's enchanted and, you know, infused with some goodies. All right. It's meant to bring in self-love, beauty, um, you know, all of that good stuff, sensualness and all of that. And we even have the oil that, um, can be accompanied with that oil available in, with that candle available in my shop as well. All right. You could put it on your pressure points while calling in the things that you want. This is also spelled by me and it works. It's very powerful. Um, we also have the Powerful Expansion 777 24 Karat Midas Touch Oil, made to attract good fortune, money, success, abundance on all of that good stuff, y'all. All of that good stuff. So go get those items right now. I have those. I have plenty of oils and I have a few candles left um, when it comes to matters of love. So go get y'all candles, y'all, especially y'all who are here watching these love readings. All right. So now, like I said, what we're going to do is I want you to pick a number one through three. And that is going to be your pile because I didn't do piles today. I'm going to shuffle today. Um, pick a number one, two, three. I'm going to put the timestamps under the video on where you're going to start at for your part of the video. And what we're looking at, like I said, is what's next and love. What's coming for, um, what's new for love. Now, even though this is being done during the new moon energy, this is a timeless video and a timeless reading. So whenever you land on it, if you feel like it resonates, take the message and claim it. All right. So let's go. Pile number one. Oh, yeah, y'all. If you want a personal reading or a private reading or anything like that, my information is below. I am now on TikTok if you want daily short little readings. But if you want a private reading, my um, my question based readings are available right now. If you just want to try me out and see what my service is like, they're at a, a low price right now. If you want to um, get a full-on reading, I have other options. Click the link below this video. Go to my Etsy shop and reserve your reading. Also, I take Cash App and PayPal, so if you can't pay through Etsy for any reason, just reach out to me. My email is powerful777expansions at gmail.com, and we can set something up, all right? So let's get into this reading, y'all, all right? Pile number one. What's happening next and love for you. I'm going to shuffle these cards, get some good cards out, and we're about to talk about it. In the midst of that pile number one, let me know where are y'all at. If you're watching this video and you land on this video, where do you, um, where are you watching this from? Like what continent, what country, what city, what state? Tell me where y'all at because I'm interested to know. And, and y'all, drop some comments about what parts resonate with you and what parts you want to claim. Um, when it comes to this type of reading, all right? So let's go. What's coming next? What is this new moon in Cancer bringing in for my pile number ones? Ooh, we got the traveling card, y'all. Let's see what else comes up here. I'm gonna talk about them in just a minute. I felt like shuffling today on camera because sometimes he just really surprises me what comes out. Um as I go and I like to be a little bit theatrical <laughs> but um okay so this is what's coming towards y'all that matters a love. we got traveling we got the it happens card we got the cosmic joke and we have life is dialectic all right um we're gonna do some more cards I want to do some of the sex magic tarot and then I'm going to talk about y'all message here. Hmm. All right, so what I'm getting here is some of y'all may actually be in movement soon, pretty soon. 
um, towards something or you're starting, like I think some of you are actually starting something. You're either birthing something new as far as traveling or being on the move, all right? Um, I think that this period that you're coming into with love is going to really take you using your mind and evaluating the things that you've been through in the past when it comes to love because i think that some of y'all are about to get hit with a, like a little test or a plot twist is the energy that i'm getting here all right some of you i'm getting the energy of a surprise baby because we actually got a little baby right here in the womb um in gestation right there all right we got yeah there's about to be either a lesson that you're about to learn in matters of love or there's something that's coming up that's going to be a little bit tricky for you, all right? It's just like life is throwing you a curveball real quick to see if you're seriously um, serious about what it is that you want, all right? In matters of love. All right, so just a second. We'll do one more of these orange cards and we're going to really get into the message. I'm going to get into the message, y'all. Power number one. All right, simple ripples. What's happening? Okay. Hmm. You're about to learn something in matters of love. And it's going to come through something that you may be experiencing really soon. It has to do with um, maybe having... I'm hearing a quick move for some of y'all. Um, and this is standing out to me here. It looks like this may be an egg. And then we have a baby right above it. For, so for some of y'all, maybe a surprise pregnancy or something like that. Um, for some of y'all who are watching this video. Um, and then with the It Happens card, I'm almost getting the energy of you accepting things as they are. Like you accepting whatever's coming right now instead of trying to change it. Um, some of you are about to be hit with either it's going to be someone pursuing you who is not as serious they may be a little bit of a trickster energy is what i'm getting here they may be a little bit of a player or something like that and you're being like pushed to use your discernment pushed to use like make the right choice for you when it comes to love and not take this too serious because um this is kind of like almost a test to see if if you say you want this almost kind of like if you say you want serious love are you going to keep on entertaining players or jokester type people or people who is not matching what it is that you want? And then we got an energy here of some of you are realizing that you've been holding on to like a cycle or a certain type of person that you like, right? And not realizing that you are unconsciously attracting the same type of person and different people. So that's why you're being kind of put to this test to see if you can choose to let go of those things, let go of those desires or whatever it is that you keep on attracting and change up your view, change up your perspective of what it is that you're looking for for love. And that's why you're being hit with a little quick plot twist is the energy i'm getting here but for some of you like i said it's something to do with you uh either going somewhere different really fast or like um something about someone like moving really fast let me see let me get some clarity on this what's happening with this traveling and the three of uh, i'm hearing avoiding something at all costs <laughs> what is this pile number one we got the art of dying. Yeah, you're letting something go. So when I said avoiding something, you may be running away from something. So something may have had like a false start or something was about to start up or something was about to um, come into fruitation and you're walking away from it because you're realizing that is not what you want when it comes to love. We got enlightenment. Yes, yeah, so you're definitely learning something. You're learning something. You're being taught something right now. And pile number one, in matters of love, I feel like um, whoever's coming towards you next, if you're single, this is some type of lesson teaching you about yourself and teaching you about like what you may have been attracting towards you, what you may be accepting, like the old you may have put up with so much, or like you may have been aligning with people who are not for you, and you're learning what parts of you have been accepting that and what parts of you need to be put to rest with that, because with the art of dying, I feel like that's the message of understanding what the meaning of like putting something to rest is all right 
why you have to go through periods of renewal. Um, because if you keep showing up as the old you, you're going to keep on getting the old you. And if you show up as the new you, you'll get new, you know, you'll get new experiences is what I'm basically trying to say when it comes to love. So y'all biggest thing that's coming up next in matters of love is, um, basically a strong lesson is something teaching you about the direction that you're going in and where you're what you're aiming for with this aim of life i feel like for some of you you may be someone who wasn't so sure about what you want or wasn't so sure about the direction like you'll say that you want this type of person but then you keep on entertaining people who are less than that or they don't meet what's on your list just for the simple fact of having someone in a moment or for the simple fact that they may meet some like a few of your things on your list and you're just like, it's almost kind of like as if you were settling for less than what you deserve. So I think that what's coming next in love is you're about to um, be really clearing up your direction on matters of love or where you want to go and relationships, all right? What you want to see out of your next partner. This is you really doing a lot of learning because even here, this person is surrounded by purple, which for me is your, especially with this enlightenment card too, um, you're using your crown more, y'all. You're using your mind space more, your intuition more. And you're realizing, all right, you're up here on these steps and you're looking down. So you're taking a higher view, a higher perspective of the relationships you may have been in. And you're thinking about your past, all right? Some of you have been really holding on to past parts of you or past relationships. But then you're also realizing how this has been holding you back. Um, how, like, you see this little devil back here? Um, you have been limiting yourself in relationships, all right? And I hope that you realizing this is going to create some type of ripple effect so that you understand that everything is, you know, everything is affected or everything is connected in some type of way. The type of people you are getting are not just showing up out of anywhere and just, you know, appearing to you. There's something that you have been doing, or something that you have been holding on to keep on attracting these type of people in love. But you're coming into this queen of swords energy where you're getting more cutthroat um more serious about what it is that you're wanting all right in matters of love you're clearing your mind space and getting serious about what it is that you want and how to go about getting it so i think that you really will get that um pile number one eventually but the biggest thing i'm seeing here next is a period of enlightenment for you when it comes to relationships and love all right a period where you're getting to learn something about yourself and um a lot of you sitting with yourself and being at a place where you're getting messages i'm getting here you're getting messages or you're getting signs and directions on how you or how or what you need to change in order to get some type of new experiences and love as well as what direction you need to go in as far as relationships all right so if you stay to this part of the video then i hope that you got the message here i appreciate y'all so much for tuning in and watching powerful expansion 777 if any of that resonated or you understand the message write something in the comments let me know give me some pick a card suggestions y'all click the link below this video to get your own personal reading because remember this is a general reading so everything is not going to resonate for everyone all right but Click the link below, um, Powerful Expansion 777 on Etsy to get your personal reading. Also, you can email me at Powerful777Expansions at gmail.com if you want to pay with Cash App or PayPal. All right, y'all. I got Twin Flame readings available right now. I got Lover's readings. I have um, personal readings, all type of good stuff available right now. Go check that out, y'all. Question-based readings starting at $10. Go take advantage. Bye-bye, y'all. All right, so if you chose pile number two, we want to see what's happening next in love for you, my pile number two. What's happening next in love? All right. Um, if we got some singles in the, you know, if we got some singles listening, click, um, put in the comments, pink hearts, all right? If you feel like any of this message resonates, like the video, turn on that notification bell so y'all are notified when I have new videos. Um... If you want a personal private reading, my information is always below in the comment section by um, Powerful Expansion 777 on Etsy and on Instagram. And I'm currently dropping daily TikTok messages. All right, short little messages on TikTok. So for my pile number two, what's next in love? Who's coming towards y'all next in love? We got, oh, traveling? Really? 
Y'all, I don't understand why I just said that because we got the same exact card um, for the first pile. So I'm interested to see what comes out next. We got do not judge. All right, we're gonna talk about this here in just a moment. What's happening for my pile number twos in matters of love? True nourishment. What's next in the flow? And we have interdependence. All right. So some of y'all may actually be traveling. Um, all right. Some of y'all may actually be traveling somewhere in matters of love. Let's see what else comes up here, though. I'm hearing that you're taking all that you could take in in matters of love. Something about you taking all that you can take in is what I'm hearing. All right. So the next card we have here is the two of wands. So some of y'all are really trying to find a direction that go in in matters of love. You may have two partners that you are trying to choose between. And there's almost an energy, even here, this person is up here and then it's two people. So some of y'all are supposed to be choosing and you're not choosing, all right? Some of you may be a little bit player that's watching this <laughs> or, you're, or you're entertaining multiple people. Um, even here in the Tower of Cards, energy of some of y'all surrendering something. So some of y'all are maybe moving away from a connection or away from a relationship, all right? Clarify this. What's happening next in love for my pile number twos? We got the moon, new moon and cancer. All right, this is the moon card and this is the cancer card. All right, um, flow. Some of y'all are moving away from love, actually, is the energy that I'm getting here for some of y'all. Like you may be surrendering a connection you had with someone. Or some of y'all are entertaining multiple people um, or just like maybe dating more, not trying to settle down is the energy I'm getting. I'm getting a very um, playful energy. And then you're realizing for some of y'all, y'all are realizing how you are connected to your lover. So for some of y'all, I'm hearing empathic relationships, empath relationships. So where you're feeling what your person is feeling, all right? Um, some of you are very in tune with your, your significant other or the people that you are being intimate with. And I'm getting there's an energy of moon energy flowing, all right? Truths, um, things being uncovered that were hidden in your relationships with people, all right, are coming to the surface and the truth is coming up. I'm almost getting an owl flying up and just trying to deliver a message to you about what's been hidden in the dark. Clarify. So a lot of you, like I said, you're supposed to be judging or you're supposed to be choosing between either two people or two paths and matter, matters of love and you're choosing not to and you're just choosing to surrender some type of connection or surrender um, relationships right now and move away from them or just see how things play out is what I'm hearing. So some of you are trying to like release responsibility of making a decision. We have ambition, all right? Surrendering connections because you may be trying to achieve something else. Clarify what's happening with my pile number twos. We got start living. What's happening with my number twos? In matters of love. We have totality. All right, yeah, so like you're realizing the whole of a situation. Um, pile number two, you're realizing a lot of the whole of something instead of just looking at the little pieces. And I am getting it. Some of y'all are getting a truth about a connection or a relationship that's causing you to surrender the connection and walk away or move away from it and not try to judge things harshly. But just realize like, okay, it may be time for me to take another direction on as well as redirecting your energy towards the things that you are ambitious about and start really living y'all lives. All right. Stop being confined to relationships. We got the art of dying. So there's something about you letting 
this go or understanding the purpose of having to surrender some things or sacrifice relationships at times to go after something else. So pile number two, y'all are really moving through a lot of energy that has to do with finding the truth in something, seeing the truth in something, coming out of your shell is the energy that I'm getting. All right. Um, lots of cancer energy. So also maybe learning how to protect your own energy or protect yourself in relationships. All right. How relationships may be affecting you because you're realizing that you may have some type of impact qualities or you may have like where you feel what your person feels and things like that. So you're learning how to protect your energy is the, the energy that I'm getting here. Also, I do have um, just while I was thinking about that, I do have a few protection candles available left in my Etsy shop for those who are interested in that. We have the mind and we dropped a card. So just a second here. Um, the mind. We have without hope. Hold on. And what else? The cosmic joke. The reason why some of y'all are surrendering some connection that you've been in, um, your previous connections, is because you're realizing, it's like your mind is helping you realize that you got to you gotta take your ambition somewhere else, all right? You got to take your effort somewhere else, all right? What it is that you've been putting all your efforts in and your intention to may not be giving you back the same thing that you're putting out. Now it's time for you to really start living really start living in your truth, um, really start renewing your hope, all right? Seeing the light in situations, even if the truth is something that you didn't want to hear or it's something that you, you know, you really couldn't sit well with, at least you know the full of things now is what I'm getting, all right? So through this, whatever you have just previously experienced in love, it may have brought you some pain, all right? We got this man right here who has these, these whips on his back and it's like blood coming out of his back right he's been beaten tortured or whatever like that but here's the thing this is helping you understand the art of dying why some things have to be put to rest all right and with the cosmic joke coming up here i feel like whatever pain you just went through um is pushing you into a new new beginning for this new moon in cancer and the reason why it's pushing you towards a regeneration i see a white bird here so i'm really believing in that renewal the reason why is because it was like a harsh lesson that you had to learn in matters of love that's pushing you into um, something that's going to give you back what you're putting out, all right? And it's also showing you how everything is connected with each other. How, you know, when you, oh, is there a little owl right there? And I was just saying I felt like an owl energy. Um, it's helping you basically to realize, like, you can't just be, because I think that whoever you are watching this video, you're someone who's really, really giving, really, really loving, really nurturing, really, you may have healing energy about um, you. And you just may be a person that's like Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, very selfless energy is what I'm getting here. And what happens is with these type of people, people see that in you and sometimes they just take and they take and they take and they don't give. So you're learning how to retract your energy how to choose more wisely in the future in relationships. So what's coming next in love for you is a renewal, all right? Uh, a period of regeneration. You may start dating more now, like maybe um, getting out there and, you know, not being so serious with dating and not moving so fast, give relationships time. Um, you're releasing some burdens from prior relationships and you're being open to have more fun and just to really experience life and love from a different perspective instead of trying to hold on to every relationship that comes your way, all right? You're giving yourself time to also get a little bit of laughter or humor out of whatever it is that you just come out of. So this is a period of you, you know, strengthening your mind, right? Strengthening your mind and understanding, let's see, um, understanding that just because a relationship may have ended or someone may have walked out of your life or something um, may have been let go or surrendered, it's not over when it comes to love. What's next? We got Ace of Pentacles. So a fresh new start is coming towards you. 
That's what the regeneration is about, all right? Um, a new opportunity and love is going to come to you eventually, pile number two, once you have surrendered whatever you've been holding on in the past. And for some of y'all, y'all were holding on to third-party situations. Like, you may have been third-party or you may have knew that your partner had someone else. You're surrendering that connection, all right? Memories are coming up here. Um, so some of you may be having a lot of memories or thinking about someone in your past. All right. Thinking about like the things that y'all did together and things like that. But we got the three of cups in reversal. And the king of pentacles. You're no longer choosing to entertain this person. If you've been like in a third party situation or you've just been feeling like you've been given and not getting what you put out you're no longer choosing to entertain this person and you're moving into your king of pentacles energy um or you're even attracting someone who is more giving all right they're going to give to you just as much as you give to them and they're going to want to take care of you they're going to want to do things for you um they're going to want to give you just as much as you give them but this is the queen of cups with the king of pentacles so i feel like you may give on an emotional level and this person may be more physical and they want to um give you things um give you gifts give you shiny things they're really showy showy they want to show you off maybe um i'm hearing that song by bryson i think it's called show you off it's either him or brent where it's called show you off so this person may even want to show you off they want people to know that you're their woman is what i'm hearing for some of y'all um but they're going to want to respect and honor you for what you bring to the table so your next relationship is someone who can at least try to equally give to you versus what you've been putting up with in the past relationships because for some of y'all y'all been dealing with someone who is not giving you equally what you deserve but you have a lot of memories and you think about this person a lot in your past but a new fresh start is coming a new person is coming in this person may be cancer taurus capricorn or um virgo all right, sun, moon, horizon, but I feel like it strongly could be their sun sign. Um, there's someone who's very down to earth. There's someone who is, they love food is what I'm hearing, or there's something about food, and they like things that really, really look good. They're very big on aesthetics and how you look is what I'm hearing here. Um, they are someone who just really likes nice things so they may even try to buy you stuff like i said so that's what you have next coming in love if you want a personal reading like a private reading on twin flames one specific question a general reading or anything like that i have that all available in my etsy shop by clicking the link below this video in the comment sections i always leave a comment with how to get a personal reading for me it's always in the description box as well and you can also um, tune in to me on TikTok for daily messages. All right. If you don't want to purchase your message to Etsy for some reason, if you can't, you can also um, email me at powerful777expansions at gmail.com. All right. And thank y'all so much for tuning in. Leave some comments in the comment section. Let me know what parts resonate. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, y'all. All right. Bye bye. Number two. Hey, y'all, who have picked pile number three. We are about to be seeing what's happening next in love for you, all right? What's going to be happening next um, in matters of love for you? What is this new moon in Cancer bringing, y'all? If you made it to this part of the video, please drop some blue hearts below. Tell me where y'all from if you haven't already. Also, um, suggest some pick a card suggestions below. My personal reading information is always below in the comment section and in the description box. So if you want a private reading, my information is there as well as you can email me at powerful777expansions at gmail.com if you would like to pay with cash app or PayPal. But I prefer if you use Etsy if you can. Um, all right. So what is pile number three? What's next in love? What's happening next in matters of love for y'all? If you made it to this part of the reunion, I hope that y'all got the best pile, y'all. Pile number three. I'm playing favoritism. We got totality. What's happening next? We got too many cards that came out at the bottom. Okay, I feel like a lot of y'all are going through a period of, uh, I'm hearing restoring peace. 
what's happening right now? What's happening next for my pile number three? All right. We got renew yourself. Yeah, see, I just said restoring peace. Um, a lot of y'all who are watching these videos, I think that if, especially if you're like on a twin flame journey or something, you're going through a period of like peace or quietness when you're renewing yourself or restoring yourself from whatever happened leading up to this point. Some of you are going through a rebirth, um, regenerating yourself, calling your spirit back to you, all right? Calling your true self back to you, renew yourself. Some new beginnings is happening for some of y'all in matters of love. But I feel like it's not happening fast. This is like a self. Um, this is like a self rebirth or self renewal, which is going to lead you up to newer things in love. All right. Some of you are getting into the flow of relationships and love in general. Like you're just trying to restore your flow is the energy I'm getting. We have laugh at life. See. This particular pal, y'all may be hanging around y'all friends. Um, you may be trying to become friends with someone first before making a relationship serious. You're just looking for a friend or you're just trying to have, you know, peace is what I'm hearing in matters of love. You want to restore your happiness. You want to restore your joy, your playfulness is what I'm getting with pile number three. So some of y'all are going to be doing things like hanging out with someone who's making you laugh or spending time with someone who's going to make you laugh um, or just doing things yourself that's bringing you happiness, all right? Maybe watching a comedy or something or going to go see a comedian. Uh, we got the awareness. <laughs> Some of you are really just becoming more aware in matters of love and just like your relationships and things like that. Um, aware of how to keep your balance. All right. Something about trees is standing out here. So some of y'all are just trying to like rebuild your own foundation, um, preparing yourself for new love. Seeing how everything comes all together, how everything goes together, how nothing is separate when it comes to relationships, but, you know, everything is somehow tied in. All right, what else we got here? We got the Nine of Wands. Hmm. What's happening next for my pal number threes? We got the magician um, upside down. So some of y'all are realizing like you don't have to always be doing something. You don't have to always be in a relationship or you don't have to be, you know, putting all your energy and all of that into that. You could just be in a period where you're reducing yourself. Some of y'all may be trying to um, either. Previously, you may have been trying to manipulate a situation or control the situation when it comes to love. But right now, you're realizing that it's just time for me to renew myself. It's time for me to get back to my own happiness, all right? Um, some of you are getting back into the flow of dating, of talking to people and getting to know people and um, slowly, you know, choosing. So I'm getting like, for some of y'all, it's either been a while or you just need to get back into the flow of dating and just giving yourself a chance to see and test out different kinds of relationships or different kind of love options and things like that. Um, your decisions, I'm hearing like letting your decisions flow, like not trying to be stuck in your mind or in one place or trying to manipulate something that's not working out. All right. Um, some of you are trying to regain your happiness. Um, so what I'm getting here for my power number three is some of y'all may be sad or like regretful about something that happened in the past relationship. It may have, you know, been on your mind a lot, been in your emotions flowing off through you and, you know, all that energy here. But what I'm getting here is you're trying to get back to your happiness, get back to your playfulness and your joyful place where it's like, I'm not so serious about what happened in the past. I'm learning how to move past the past. I'm learning how to renew myself. Um, some of you are supposed to be walking away from something and you're choosing not to. You're choosing to stay, but you're becoming more aware of how this decision is affecting you. You're choosing not to walk away from someone who may have, it's a, it's a reason why you had to 
you're supposed to be walking away, but you're choosing not to. But you're becoming more aware of how this is affecting you. And you see how this person is uh, crossing over this uh, limb or tree or whatever it is. And there's someone behind them and they're like standing up. But it's almost as if this person may be about to take them down with them too. If they fall, they'll take them. So there's something about a relationship that you're supposed to be walking away from. Um, or something you're supposed to be walking away from, but you're choosing not to right now. Um, so that could also be why you're still trying to hold on to a connection for some of y'all. And you're trying to control the situation, but you're realizing how it's taken a lot from your happiness. All right. So what's happening next for them? All right. We got the seven of wands. Um... Yeah, y'all are needing a transformation in love. Power number three. Okay. Some of you are taking things and matters in your own hands and learning how to put up some boundaries when it comes to relationships, all right? Put up some boundaries. Not give yourself so much. Some of you are going in your own direction outside of a relationship. Like you and this person maybe going two separate ways. And some of y'all are really trying to stop this from happening. You're, just, you're actually slowing down the process. Um, or you're waiting for this person to come back for some of y'all. You're waiting for something. Um, but for for the most part, I'm getting that there's two different groups watching this. Some of y'all are learning that instead of holding on to people, it's best that you move on and kind of like explore your options and love and matters of love. You give yourself a chance to date, get to know different people, see what it is that you like and what it is that you don't like instead of just holding on to something that's not working out. And then there's like another half of y'all who are still trying to manipulate the relationship or control the situation because you want it to go a certain way. But it's just not happening right now. But you're becoming more and more aware of how your decisions is affecting your love life. All right. One more card for this particular pile before I go a little bit deeper. What's happening next in love for them? Okay, so some of y'all are like not realizing that there's a new opportunity coming towards you in love. And you're still like focused on the past. A lot of the energy that I'm getting here. So it, it also could be that some of y'all are giving y'all something to date, right? Like, so you may be dating new people, but you're still focused on the past. I'm getting the energy in this card and it's another card. Oh, this one right here. Where the person is doing too much looking back and waiting for someone in their past to come back. Instead of um, seizing the opportunities or the new things that are coming towards you right now. And even with this card, the Eight of Cups being upside down, like I feel like some of y'all who are watching this pile number three, y'all still waiting for somebody to come back to y'all who have not done y'all right. Or they just like play games, all right? Um, this person may be a Gemini. They may be, uh, I'm getting strong Gemini energy. I'm getting Libra and Aquarius. But it's someone who plays mental games with you or like they pay, play little petty games with you and they're trying to keep hold of you or you're trying to hold on to this relationship by waiting for them and these cups are saying like you're distracted by the fact that you keep looking back all right but what you need to be doing is setting stronger boundaries for future relationships you need to be taking control of your own life when it comes to you know how you allow people to treat you and love and matters of love and like who you choose I'm getting the energy here of some of you need to learn how to just let things go and go with the flow and have fun. All right. Go with the flow and have fun. Um, don't be so serious when you are finding new love prospects and things like that. And don't wait around for anyone and stop looking back in the past and holding on to the past. Become aware of your own behaviors that are making you like what's slowing you down. I'm hearing become aware of the own things that you are doing in order to slow you down from new love coming in. So pile number three. Give me some clarifiers for these cards. We got the live dangerously. Like it's time for you to take a risk. And it came out right under the seven of wands. It's time for you to take a risk is what I'm hearing y'all. Um, and I don't mean like a really dangerous risk, but it's time for y'all to 
try something different date someone different um step outside of your usual box all right step outside of your comfort zone is what i'm hearing some of you need to move in a new direction when it comes to love we got the feel this moment card the art of dying yeah a lot of y'all who are watching these videos y'all going through like um a renewal or a rebirth with yourself so with your own soul on a soul level with your own soul and it's teaching you did i drop a card no i did it's teaching you that you know new beginnings are necessary and you got to step out and you got to take charge in order to bring that in all right we got the true wealth card upside down so some of you are settling and instead of going off after long-term security and comfortability you're settling for relationships that especially with the eight of cups being upside down like y'all settling for stuff that is like giving you validation in the moment or satisfying you for the moment you know you may want to you may want to cuddle or you may want to you know someone to give you attention in the moment but instead of someone who could be long term or someone who can give you or help build with you long term you're settling for passion in the moment because we even got a passionate uh you know this is like my uh knight of wands right here rushing in but this card is upside down with the true wealth so i feel like y'all are not grasping um some of you who are watching this video you're not grasping the luxury the wealth the abundance that's in your future like you're, you're settling right now because you want something right now in a relationship so you 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 being where you're acting like you can't walk away from someone in your past or you're you're putting up with a lot with someone in your past who has not treated you how you deserve to be treated they have not given you your flowers and until you learn how to take a risk, some of y'all are actually are taking, you are um, engaging in risky behaviors um, with a certain relationship may, you may be entertaining. It may not be healthy for you. It may not be good for you. But I'm getting that the moment that you let go of this part of yourself and you allow yourself time to meet someone who is going to give you what you deserve, then that's when this true wealth card can turn upside right and you can get what you deserve, you know. And I feel like it's not going to be fast. What you want is not going to come to you fast, but it'll come to you. And you'll be able to build with someone long term. But it's going to take some patience and it's going to take you slowing down. All right. If you're going fast and you're just going fast with no direction or no, you know, like no end goal, you're going to keep on hitting a dead end. All right. So that is it for what's coming next in love for y'all. Um that is a general reading so it may not resonate for everyone but if you feel like it do leave a comment like the video drop some moons down in the comment section emojis um if you want a private reading my information is always below every single video um i also put it in the community section it's in the description box and in the comment section i always leave a comment with my name there powerful expansion 777 you can email me at powerful777expansions at gmail.com. My Etsy shop is Powerful Expansion 777. And I'm on TikTok doing daily readings, um, daily little tarot messages every day. So I just got on there. Go check me out, y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in to this video today. I hope that y'all are doing well. And if you want some of these lovely uh, love oils or money manifestation oils, good fortune oils, go check all of that stuff out in my Etsy shop, y'all. It's available right now. They're actually on sale. The price will be going up soon. So go get those, y'all. Bye-bye.